good, my good people. Welcome back to the infamous Mel TV. In this profile piece, I will be discussing the murder of Merlin Santana, better known as Romeo Santana from the Steve Harvey Show. Merlin was a native New Yorker that had moved to L.A. to pursue his acting career. We met a few times in North Hollywood when he told me his nephew had the same name as me. He was a down-to-earth dude. He used to record music in my building on Lancashire in North Hollywood. Long story short, his untimely demise happened on the night of November 9, 2002. Merlin and Brandon Adams. Brandon Quentin. Hold up, Brandon Quentin Adams. If you didn't know who Brandon Quentin is, this is him. Brandon was an actor mostly known for his role in Sandlot as Kenny De Nunez. He was a close friend of Merlin's. A few nights back, they were both clubbing and met some girl named Monique King. Her and Merlin had later had intercourse. He had got back word that she was actually an underage runaway, 15 in fact. She had snuck in the club, so he wouldn't have known that this girl was underage. As soon as he found out, he changed his mind and retreated. And that's what sealed his fate. In retaliation, Monique King falsely accused Merlin of sexually assaulting her. She relayed the message to a couple of her friends in the Crenshaw District area. and enter Santana's head, killing him at age 26. Merlin Santana died on this street in the wee hours of Saturday morning, November 9th, 2002. A year later, Gates was convicted of first-degree murder and attempted murder of Brandon Adams. He was sentenced to three consecutive life sentences plus 70 years. Monique King, a runaway who was 15 at the time of her arrest, was sentenced to the California Youth Authority and was held until age 25, which would be 2012. So basically she's out, man, walking around, cold world. Anyway, man, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button. Please subscribe if you want to. Uh, last page was um, struck down, so we back at it, man. Stay safe, be dangerous. We out.